All right. Well, we made it to the end. I, I'll bring it home here. Last presenter. Um, so I am uh, Elizabeth Stormshack. I'm a professor at the University of Oregon, and I'm going to talk about the Family Checkup Online, a digital health technology to treat and prevent mental health problems in children and families. I am the co-founder of Northwest Prevention Science, which is the sole commercial uh has a sole commercial license for the product of the Family Checkup Online, and I'm going to talk about a, a little bit about that coming up. So the problem we're trying to address, 40 to 60 percent of children report mental health distress. Um, and of course, as we all know, that it rate is increasing in society, especially since our COVID-19 pandemic. 80 percent of children and families with mental health problems never receive any services. So that's the problem we're, we're trying to solve. And there's a number of reasons for this. There are limited providers out there available to serve this population. There's low access to services for many people in our country. And there's low access to effective treatments. And all of those are some of the problems we're trying to solve with a family checkup online. Northwest Prevention Science is the primary implementer of the Family Checkup Online, and we have been since 2021, and we've been implementing the model across the United States. We've trained thousands of providers, and this is a B2B model, in the model as we're trying to implement an uptake in different communities. The history of the Family Checkup is quite extensive. It was developed over 25 years ago at the University of Oregon. It has been funded by multiple clinical trials through NIH, the CDC, Department of Education. And most importantly, it's recognized as a model program by several different entities and federal registries. This is important because it's critical for reimbursement in this marketplace to have sort of um, recognition on these federal rep, uh, agents uh, registries, which gives us preferential access to different revenue streams that different mental health providers draw down from to support um, evidence-based evidence programming in their settings. So in 2015, we developed the digital product and we've been working on that ever since. The Family Checkup Online is a digital health product that solves some priority issues for child mental health delivery systems. We reduce child mental health disorders and we reduce problem behavior and increase school performance. The Family Checkup is a federally registered trademark owned by the University of Oregon and Northwest Prevention Science is the exclusive commercial license of this trademark. The Family Checkup Online delivers in that it's a well-proven, fully tested digital mental health intervention, and it's delivered via web-based application. Outcomes include improvement in child mental health, improvement in parent mental health, improvement in behavioral concerns, and reductions in parent stress. Over the past few years, we've um, had run several clinical trials focused just on the digital model, and we have some recent published outcomes, and this is just a snippet of those, um, but just gives you a sense of some of our outcomes related to the digital health model. Um, when we compare a weightless control group to intervention group, we see significant reductions in parent stress and significant improvements in um, family conflict for people that receive the, the digital app. We also see um, improvement in proactive parenting and improvement in limit setting. These are key parenting skills, which are um, key targets of our intervention model. Um, we have looked at these key targets and how they link to improvements in child mental health. And we find that child well-being improves when parents are supported and engaged in proactive parenting. And our data suggests that these increases in improvements in parenting skills lead to significant reductions in child depression and other mental health problems. We've now published these clinical trials in multiple outlets. Our products are, are involve two different digital health apps. So the first is a school age version, and this product is for parents with a child age five to 14. It focuses on healthy routines, parenting skills, and school success, and the prevention of mental health problems in children this age. Our early childhood version targets parents with young children ages 18 months to five years, and it focuses on parent mental health, harm reduction, and parenting skills. All versions of the digital app are um, also provided in Spanish. Our customers are healthcare systems um, that deliver mental health support to children and families. And this is a 
a pretty broad base in the U.S. Mental health services are provided um, and delivered through healthcare systems, community mental health, and schools, and all of those are some of our customers. Our target market are providers in schools and healthcare settings that are trained to deliver the model, and we provide training and support in uptake of the model as part of our product. Um, we've had an SBIR phase one, and we have another one currently, and we're just about to get our phase two award. In the context of those awards, we've been um, testing the market in schools and mental health. We found that one key problem in the mental health market is that there are not enough staff to deliver services. There, um, so one of the things that makes our product uh, really valuable in this market is that it can be delivered with just a warm handoff, um, but it can also be delivered with supportive coaching or telehealth support. So there's two ways to deliver the model, and that's appealing, especially to school-based delivery systems. Our ideal customers are schools and healthcare systems with a high percentage of vulnerable underserved families who have low access to mental health support in their communities administrators and executives unable to employ mental health staff and una unable to retrain existing staff, funders prioritizing evidence-based programs and the ability to document outcomes of investments, not just spend more money, and rural health systems that need to reach communities that are underserved and hard to reach. The Family Checkup Online is unique in its class. Um, we do have some competitors in this space. Um, and this figure kind of depicts um, some of, I think, the key pieces of models that are uh, developed for mental health support for children and families, access and evidence base. So the Family Checkup Online is easy to access because it's delivered on smartphones by, uh, via a web-based application, and it's evidence based now through multiple clinical trials. Our other competitors in this space in the lower right quadrant, the Incredible Years, Triple P, and MST, they also provide evidence-based parenting skills and support interventions, primarily face-to-face -face without a digital app. And then um, other competitors uh, on the left-hand side, such as Little Otter, also have a lot of contracts with schools as we do, but they're doing something a little bit different. They're using a telehealth platform to provide counseling services, whereas the Family Checkup Online provides the content in the context of a digital app. Um, since 2021, when we started the business, we've um, been growing our contract revenue and awards and grants. Um, we started out generating revenue through contracts. And then that increase doubled in 2022, uh, tripled in 2023. And uh, we project that we're going to be increasing that in 2024. As I said, we've had two different SBIR awards, and we're just about to receive a phase two award, which will really escalate our ability to test the model and take it out to our markets. Um, we're currently in a fundraising seed round, although the discussion of a bit ago made me think, well, maybe we're a series A. We're something in between a seed and a series A. <laughs> We've never had funding. Um, we are interested in connecting with potential CEO candidates. I'm currently the interim CEO, um, but we would like to fund a CEO to support future growth of the company. We would like to accelerate marketing through sales marketing director to target markets and drive revenues and hire additional staff to support community uptake and reach of the model um, in underserved communities. Um, these are some selected team profiles. As I said, I'm the interim CEO and I'm the founder of the model and the developer of the model. I'm a professor at the University of Oregon and that's my primary full-time job. Uh, Dr. Lisa Ryder is our COO. She works full-time for the business, NPS, and she has been implementing evidence-based practices in the mental health field for 25 years. She has extensive experience in this field. Other team members, we have uh, fractional CFO services, accountant, consultants that train in the model, and a product development team. We have partnered with Embrix, a local coding company that um, has done all the programming for the app. So we don't do that in, in um, Northwest Prevention Science. We also have a partnership with Thrive Health in Canada, who has put the um, content of our app onto their website and their um, a, a healthcare delivery system in Canada. So we're working with them to increase reach and customers in Canada and to open up new markets. Thank you. Um, this, you know, this has been a collaboration with NPS, but with our Family Checkup product, but also with the University of Oregon. And I appreciate uh, you listening today and would be happy to take questions.